My name is Arthur. Uh, I have a bit of an accent. Get used to it. I'll explain it before we get into the show. I have a bit of an accent because I was born and raised in Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. Uh, <laughs> what? Shut up. <laughs> you guys are like, we know what they look like. Um, they don't look like you, young man. I, uh, no, I was, uh, I'm an immigrant to Canada. I was born in a small East African country called Uganda. Uh, for those of you who did not go to school, uh, it's, an, it's an East African. And uh, the thing about being an immigrant is that when you move to a new place, you want to fit in. You always try and fit in. You want to make sure you fit in. But the problem is I've come to realize I'll never be fully Canadian. I've been trying, and I've come to realize I'll never be fully Canadian because to be fully Canadian, you have to be a lunatic. You have to be a lunatic. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Canadians, the most polite, welcoming people on the planet. You're also the... You're also the craziest human beings I know because all of you who were born and raised in this country are still surprised by winter. Like, you're still... How is this still happening? Every single year, you pretend you're going through it for the very first time. You wake up in May and June and you grab your sweaters and winter jackets and you burn them in bonfires across the country like we're never gonna need this again! <laughs> it is summer forever! <laughs> and then December comes around, you guys are like, what is happening? I don't understand. <laughs> it is so cool. What is this white stuff? It's snow. It happens. Six months of the, I like, I start bundling up in September and you make fun of me. You're like, ah, immigrant. That's an immigrant. I'm like, oh, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> Keep pretending. It's coming. And the delusion that comes with you, oh, the delusion, oh my God. There's every, every year in February, there's that one day where the sun comes out for 47 seconds. <laughs> And all of you are like, it's summertime! Shorts and sandals, I'm going to bike to work. You're gonna die, that's what's gonna happen. You are going to die. Every January, there's a pile up on a highway in Canada because someone forgot to put their winter tires on. Someone forgot to put winter tires on in Canada in January. Listen, if you show, if the police show up to an accident and someone doesn't have their winter tires on anywhere in this country in January, they should be legally allowed to shoot you in the face. Just shoot you. <laughs> Excuse me, you seem to have no winter tires on. Are you an immigrant? No, boom, we don't need you. You failed. And I know, I know that's a little extreme, but uh, you need that program for only one winter. After that, all of you putting winter tires on immediately. And that's why when everyone, you're talking about Canadian immigration, everyone is like, we're letting too many people in. Some people are like, we're not letting enough people in. Canada should have the easiest immigration policy. Do you want to move to Canada? Okay, we'll come pick you up. It doesn't matter which part of the world you're in, we're gonna come pick you up at no cost to you. We're gonna come pick you up, I'm gonna bring you to Canada. We're gonna bring you here in January. <laughs> and we're gonna land the plane in Yellowknife. <laughs> and all these potential immigrants are gonna be excited, like, oh my goodness, we landed at night. They're like, no, it's 2 p.m. in the afternoon. <laughs> we're gonna stop all the planes a good 900 meters from the nearest building. And the flight attendant is gonna be like, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Canada, almost. Uh, if you look to your right, there's a building with all the lights and everything, that's Immigration and Customs Canada. It's 900 meters from the plane. If you make it, <laughs> there's a passport waiting for you, no questions asked. Okay? <laughs> the toughest part about being an African person on this planet is that everyone thinks they're better than us. All of you think you're better than us, and the silence, you're like, yeah, duh, of course. It <laughs> That's not true. Don't get me wrong. Some of you are, but not all of you, okay? And I will explain. I joined a group conversation recently. A girl noticed my accent. She's like, excuse me, you have a bit of an accent. Where are you from? I said, oh, I'm, I was born and raised in Kampala, Uganda. She's like, oh, amazing. Coincidence, I just came back from Uganda three weeks ago, and I was like, oh, did you enjoy your visit to my lovely home country? She goes, oh, no, no, I wasn't there visiting. I was there helping out. I'm like, oh, did they call you or something? Like, what is? 
It's like, no, no, you don't understand. I work at Lululemon at the mall, and I took three weeks off, and I went to Uganda to help out. Eh. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I grew up in Uganda. I understand the expertise we need in so many different areas in life. Medicine, engineering, nursing, maybe even urban planning, okay? This girl works at Lululemon at the mall. Who was looking for tight yoga pants expertise? Listen, if you work at the mall, I've lived here long enough to know that if you work at the mall and you're over the age of 21, you have already failed in life. You have already failed in life. Why are you taking your lack of ambition and mediocrity to a place that already has its problems? No, 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 no. You stay right here, stay in your basement apartment and stay the hell away from my people.